far away down I'll put a pillow here and get up way up. So now it's time for season 19 of Doctor Who and this particular season ran from the 4th of January 1982 up until the 30th of March 1982. So this as you might see it was pretty short in the spanning of the airing time because this year they changed it up a bit and aired the episodes on Mondays and Tuesdays on BBC and BBC Wales got it on Mondays and Wednesdays. So, uh, yeah, well, that meant that the season didn't last very long, but it still consisted of 26 episodes divided into, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six separate stories, if I'm right. I'm just gonna check Wikipedia for safety reasons, so I don't say this wrong. No, seven serials! I said it wrong. I'm not sure if I'm gonna say yay or whoops. Okay, <clears throat> so we start off with the first story featuring Peter Davison as the Doctor. And in this one, the box New Beginnings, we had that one in the last episode, in the end of season 18. <clears throat> because this one as well features Castro Valva. The first episode, the first story of the fourth Doctor, and this one was a four-parter. Well, it's four-parter almost everyone. I'm, when I'm mentioning it's not a four-parter, then you know it's not a four-parter, but otherwise it's a four-parter. So, Castro Alva, we have, the, we have the starting story of the Doctor. I think it's a really good story, especially since, well, he suffers from a regeneration sickness, sort of, and experiences uh, sort of his previous incarnation. So, Peter Davison makes a sort of performance uh, that look mm, portraying the first, second, third, and fourth Doctor before becoming himself. Yeah, pretty much, and they travel to the city, Castro Valva. I don't have much to say about that story, because I don't want to take a long time on it. But yeah, really good story. That was, by the way, story 116. Story number 117 is... See if I got the right DVD here. Yes, I got it. For to Doomsday. So... For to Doomsday uh, is well, uh, the thing is, uh, they are, let's see here if I'm gonna say it right, yeah. So, uh, the Doctor is supposed to return during the entire season 19, it's a bit about the Doctor trying to return Tegan to, uh, to the airport where she was supposed to be at uh, the start of Logopolis. But, on this one, they end up on in the right time in 1981, but in the wrong place, and lands on a spaceship four days away from Earth. And uh, there are these monarchs which are like, well, ruling this sort of ship. And it contains lots of people on the ship, though they realize soon that the people there are not quite as they seem. Yeah. That was story 117. Story number 119 is on this one, the Mara Tales. And let's see if I can get that one out. The first story which was featured in season 19 is Kinda. Where the Doctor comes to the planet Kinda which has this sort of civilization that are linked together with their minds and they have a place which is forbidden to sleep at if you sleep alone because then the Mara can take the other part that you're not linked up to and Tegan gets possessed and uh, the Mara tries to take over this entire civilization. Now I sort of spoil a lot on this but well most of those things are explained in the first episode in Mara Tales. So that's story 160. 18. Story number 119 I have the special edition for and it's called The Visitation in which they land in 
the year 666 in England during the Great Plague and there is uh, this um, alien that uh, is there and well mostly don't want to stay there anymore when I get away and yeah I don't remember much from this story I realize right now even though I watched it actually yesterday but uh, well since I watched this entire season in three days you don't remember details always yeah so that was story number 120 story number 121 let's see if I'm sure about that this is 121 so I don't give you the wrong information I did okay let's see here six 116 117 118 119 right this is 120, Black Orchid. And what's special about this one, Black Orchid, is that Black Orchid is a 100% historical adventure. Uh, and it's England 1925, we get to see the Doctor play cricket. And, well, as I said, purely historical, it doesn't feature any alien creatures at all. And, well, they arrive at... Let's see here, Cranley Hall, and, or Cranley, I don't remember how it's pronounced, and it turns out that Nyssa, uh, a companion of the Doctor, which I should have mentioned, Nyssa, Tegan and Adric are traveling with the Doctor at the moment, and, well, they, fi they found out that Nyssa, at this place, has a doppelganger, uh, well, Sarah Sutton, of course, played both characters, but, well, Nis, Nis has a, a person here who looks exactly like her. And they do some parts with them um, getting mixed up and, yeah, stuff like that. So, this one is only a two-parter, by the way. I thought I forgot to mention that. So, let's move Peter Davison a bit here and bring up... The next story, story number 121, Four Potter again, and the last one is Four Potter. So we have Earthshock, which sees the farewell of Adric, as well as the first return of the Cybermen, since I think it was, well, it was the fourth Doctor story, but I don't remember which season that was from, but it was really early on, so the Cybermen hadn't been uh, on Doctor Who for quite a while when this one was added. And also interesting about this one is that it features clips with his previous incarn with the Cyberman previously meeting incarnations of the Doctor. So they have a clip from the Tenth Planet and I think Wheel in Space and the Ark in Space. So yeah, pretty nice story actually. Yeah. I don't want to spoil this one too much because this one is a really spoiling version if you tell people about it. So I usually don't tell much about it except the Cybermen are back. Lastly for this season we have story number 122. Yeah, 122 featured on this one and actually those are the credits for the first episode in this one and it's called Time Flight and this one I got fresh out of memory because I just finished watching it today this when Thursday like that is today so Time Flight featured on the Time Flight Arc of Infinity box Arc of Infinity is the first story of the next season but so we'll talk about that part later but here we have it Time flight. So, time flight. The thing is that the doctor finally arrives on Heathrow Airport where, where Tegan was supposed to be. But there gets some mix up when they are supposed to land because they are about to crash with something and they sort of swap places with it in the time vortex sort of thingy. I'm not really sure how to tell you, but this correctly but well the plane basically gets hijacked in time and end up way back in time back 140 million years back in time and well the, the doctor tries to 
help them get the plane back to its own time. And also what's interesting about this one, by the way, um, since, uh, well, that is a bit spoilery, but still, uh, it's weird watching this one for the first time. It's my second time now, but I was really, really weird out at the end, because at the end of this one, Nissa and the doctor leaves, but Tegan is still at the airport. And Tegan continued to be a companion, as uh, you maybe have read, after Nissa already had left. So, it was really weird that she got left uh, back there, but the thing was, I found out later in a documentary that her contract, uh, Janet Fielding's contract, ran out at the end of the season, but they wanted her back, so so she came back in the first episode in Arc of Infinity, this one, right afterwards. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I have to say about this one, but Tegan gets left at the airport and Nissa and the doctor travels away, but Tegan will get back at the start of the next season. So, that is season 19 of Doctor Who. I'm gonna be thirsty. Okay, so, let's go through this once again. These 26 episodes are featured on all these sets that you need to buy separately. And uh, firstly we had Castro Valva, store number 116. And it was featured on the new Beginnings box set. Then we had Fort Doomsday, store number 117. Store number 118, Kinda, featured on the Mara Tales box set. Store number 119, The Visitation, this is the special edition. Story number 120, Black Orchid, a two-parter. Story number 121, Earth Shock. And lastly we had Time Flight on the Time Flight Arc of Infinity box. Story number 122. So, that's it for season 19, but now, as you know, I have uploaded an episode every single day for quite some time. And the thing is, I'm... right now, I'm... I just finished watching this one, as I said, it's Thursday night now, and I know for sure that I'm not gonna be able to watch all 23 episodes of season 20 by tomorrow, so that means that there will be no episode of these runs throughs tomorrow, and... I'll get back to it once I've, well, basically once I've finished season 20, and when there there might be a gap again for season 21 and so on, but when we get to about season 22, and there, then I might get, be able to get back to once a day, since the, the seasons get shorter f from season 23 and forward. I think it was. So, oh right, I forgot to mention something. There was a reason I wanted to start off with the fifth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver like this. And that is because in the story The Visitation, the Doctor Sonic Screwdriver gets destroyed. Poof! And from that story forward, the Sonic Screwdriver was never featured again during the entire 80s run of, and up until the end of the classic era, but if you count the Doctor Who movie through classic era, you get the return of the Sonic Screwdriver there. So, from Black Orchid and forward, the Doctor never used the Sonic Screwdriver. Pretty neat fact that I wanted you to know, and now I'm gonna close this down and edit it and upload it, but, well, it's uploaded already while you're watching this, so, yeah. That's it for now. I'll see you when I get back to doing this. Yes. See you later. Adios. Let's see if I didn't break that one.